This video is brought to you by AE Juice. Get ready to use professional and easy to use transitions and presets, glitch animated background, logo reveal, text animation, different smooth transitions, trailer titles and many more. You can get them individually or you can get it in a bundle. It's also available for Premiere Pro and After Effects. Check out the first link in the description. Hello guys, welcome back to my another After Effects tutorial. In this After Effects tutorial, we are going to create this. Here you can see, I have already imported the files required for this project, you can download them from below link in the description. Now let's see how to create this trailer title, create a new composition, I will name it as trailer title. Time duration for this composition will be just 5 seconds. Perfect. Now first we will add main text. For this text layer, I will be using Dorusk font family, download link for the font is provided in the description. Here I will increase the font size. Let's align the text. Perfect. Now let's add the subtext. For this subtext, I will be using Montserrat font family, font style 2, light. Let's reduce the font size. Place it below the main text. Select both text layer, make sure they are at center. Perfect. Now let's animate them one by one, for main text, in animate, select enable per character 3D. Now again from animate, select rotation. Now go up near about 4 seconds. Create keyframe for Y rotation. Now at near about 2 seconds, change Y rotation to, 50 degrees, you can see the preview. Now for subtext, press T to bring up opacity, at 2 seconds, create keyframe for opacity, now at 1 second, change opacity to, 0%. Perfect. Our text is ready, select both layers, pre-compose them, name it as text. Perfect. Now let's add the blue texture media file to timeline. For this media file, in effects and preset, search for offset. Add it to the media file. First let's scale this texture media file to 50%. Perfect. Now at start of the timeline, create keyframe for offset, create keyframe for shift center. Now at end of the timeline, change center value as shown. You can see the preview. Perfect. Let's pre-compose it. Name it as reflection map. Select move all attribute into new composition. 
place it below text composition, for reflection, change track mat to, alpha mat text. For reflection composition, in effects and preset, search for CC glass. Add it to the composition. For glass, in surface, change bump map to, text. Property to, alpha. Set softness to, 40. Height to, 20. Now in effects and preset, search for CC blob lies. Add it to the reflection composition. In blowiness, change blob layer to, text. Change property to, alpha. Change softness to, 5. Change cutaway to, 3. Perfect. You can see the preview. Now in effects and preset, search for curves. Add it to the composition. Now adjust the curves as shown. Perfect. Now from project panel, add the particles media file to the timeline. For this particle media file, in effects and preset, search for tritone. Add it to the particles media file. Set the midtone color as shown. Perfect. Now again add the second particles media file to the timeline. Add tritone effect. Now set the midtone color. Perfect. Now from project panel, let's add the glare media file to the timeline. Here you are free to adjust the position on the timeline. Adjust the glare position. Add tritone effect. Now set the midtone color. Now let's create duplicate. Change the position of the glare as shown. You are free to adjust its position. Let's slightly reduce the scale value. Here you can adjust it position on the timeline as well. Here you can create multiple duplicates of this glare media if you want. Now let's change all the layers to 3D. Now create a new camera. Now create null object. Change null to 3D. Now parent camera to null object. For null, press P to bring up position. Now at 3 seconds. Create keyframe for position. Now at start, change Z position value as shown. You can see the preview. Now again create a null object. Change it to 3D. Parent null 1 to null 2. For null 2, press P to bring up position. Now at end of the timeline, create keyframe for position. Slightly increase the position value. Now at 1 seconds. Increase the position value as shown. You can see the preview. Perfect. Now select all the layers, pre-compose them. Name it as glossy text. Now let's create a new solid layer. 
This will be our background layer. Place it below the text composition, in effects and preset, search for gradient ramp, add it to the background layer. Now here you can set the color of your choice for the background layer, or you can set exactly the same color as I am going to set. Adjust the end ramp position, set ramp scatter to 500. Perfect. Now from project panel, add the smoke media file to the timeline. Press S to bring up scale. Now at 1 second, create keyframe for scale. Now at start, change scale value to 500%. You can see the preview. Now press T to bring up opacity. Now at near about 2 seconds. Create keyframe for opacity. Set opacity to 0%. Now at start of the timeline, set opacity to 15%. You can see the preview. For this smoke media, change mode to screen. You can see the preview. Now again add the same smoke media file. Change mode to screen. Now press T to bring up opacity, at 1 second, create keyframe for opacity. Change opacity to, 0%. Now at end. Change opacity to, 15%. Perfect. Now let's create a new adjustment layer. In effects and preset, search for camera lens blur, add it to the adjustment layer. Now at near about 1 second and 10 frames. Create keyframe for blur radius, set blur radius to 0. Now at start of the timeline, change blur radius to 50. You can see the preview. Select repeat edge pixels. Perfect. Now again create a new adjustment layer. In effects and preset. Search for optics compensation, add it to the adjustment layer. Now at near about 3 seconds, create keyframe for field of view, now at start. Change field of view to, 100. Now select reverse lens distortion. Here if you want you can increase the field of view value. Press U to view keyframes, select keyframes, change keyframe assistant to easy ease. Now again create a new adjustment layer. In effects and preset, search for curves, add curves to adjustment layer. Now adjust the curves as shown. Perfect. Now let's add the cinematic frame, create a new solid layer. Name it as frame. Double click on this rectangle tool to create mask. For mask 1, let's change the path, change unit to percent of source, set top to, 10%, bottom to, 90%. Select inverted. Perfect, now let's see the complete preview. Similarly, you can create multiple title and create your Taylor sequence. Thank you guys for watching this tutorial, see you next week with another awesome tutorial.